So here's why I really like role playing is now we can start dissecting it. And because it's not real time, I think it's a really good way to learn. It's like, okay, what could I reverse there? Where's there some mutual mystification? What would my next question be? You know, we've made efforts to explore various options, but striking the right balance. So we could we could go to a pain funnel question. We could say, can you give me an example? Try that one. Can you give me an example? And as, if, 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 if everyone here knows your nine pain, pain, pain funnel question, that's that's like number two or... or so uh, Tara made a know. great point. ChatGBT is being nicer than most of the prospects. Oh, so nicer. I've done this where I've said, let's Pretty repeat hostile. the role play at the end, but let's do it as a high D personality that is reluctant to set a meeting and it will play a tougher prospect for you. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't I don't need more rocks thrown at me while I'm mowing, though. So I'll take the easy role play. Uh, OK, what do we got? Yeah. And so but that's a really good point. So if you prompt it and you add in there, be a difficult prospect or uh, or um, don't share a lot of information, make make the salesperson uh, ask questions and then reveal information. It will take that. It's not perfect, but if the point is to get me to think, okay, what's my next question? If nothing else, to practice the pain funnel, tell me more, be more specific, give me an example. How long has it been a problem? What have you tried to fix it? How does that work? If you start playing with that, you'll start, it, it's like slowing it down. And when you slow it, it's like slowing it down to speed it up. It's a really good way to learn. And, and you could do it on your own time. You, just, you play with it. Then you can redo it because you missed, you missed a reverse or you missed a question.